Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today I want to give you 13 reasons why every person who is serious about being healthy should eat fresh garlic and you should not leave your grocery store without it. It should always be in your shopping cart always why because friends the medicinal um um potency and properties that are found in garlic they can't be compared to even modern day medicines some of the things that i'm going to give you on uh this list of 13 reasons why we should all eat it Friends, it's been proven by scientists that it is more potent than manufactured pharmaceutical drugs that most of, of us or most, it's, it's a fact, most of us are consuming a cocktail of drugs. It can't be compared to fresh garlic. Now, let me say this before I give you the 13 reasons why we should all learn to eat garlic. Before I started eating garlic, um, being 50 years old, when I was in my early 30s, after I gave birth to my first son, my oldest son, I was very sickly. And the Holy Spirit even warned me that I was going to die if I did not change my eating habits. I was a hottie mess and I would not consume fresh food as I should or, or any of us because one thing that I've learned about God, God is not a respecter of persons and he loves us, but He, you don't play with God. God is our father. And when the father tells you to do something and you refuse to do it, this is why many people are dying prematurely. They're just dropping dead, friends. And this includes preachers. Friends, I have never seen so many people. They're just dying. They're just, some of them are right in their pulpits dying. Some of them are singing and dying. Some of them are, you know, planning trips and doing all these things and they're just dropping dead and God is saying many of the reasons why is poor diet that we forget that the body is the temple and God gives us so much leeway friends there's so much variety of great things that he has given us to consume and many of us take for granted and you know it's interesting because some people even think that eating junk food they make a joke about all the pig and the cow they eat they won't balance it with earth food which most people mock and call bird food but the bird ain't having heart attacks and strokes the birds is just chirping and flying all around with all this energy and 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 we just babysitting all these symptoms. So I want us to consider that, friends, I am a partaker, how fresh garlic, it, it, it's the best. And when I was dying, the Holy Spirit told me, I had, I had just gave birth to my son, and I remember I was putting his bottles, I had prepared his bottles for the day, and I remember passing out in my uh, kitchen. I had just purchased this home. This was 18 years ago. And I was prepping his, his bottles and passed out right there. Bam. And all I remember is getting myself up off the floor. And he spoke to me clear as day. And friends, I'm telling you, God is, he's real, he's alive, he cares about us, but we can't keep playing around, friends. When it comes to this tabernacle, everything that we're going to do to bring him glory, he needs our body suit. So one of the things that the Holy Spirit uh, gave me for understanding was this. He said, the life of the flesh is in your blood. If you clean the blood, you, you can clean up every organ and restore most health issues is found with where? The blood. The first thing the physician look for when, when you go in there to emergency room or wherever, the first thing they do what? Draw the blood because it's going to tell them if there is enough oxygen, if there's too much uh, cholesterol and different things in that blood. This is what they're looking for first. So... Here's the one thing I want you to get before I give you the 13 uh, reasons why we got to learn to eat it. And, and keep in mind, friends, so Sharon didn't eat no garlic until the Spirit of the Lord gave me understanding of how potent garlic, fresh garlic is. I had never really ate garlic, so I had to acquire it as a taste. And I absolutely love garlic. Now, I eat it pretty much on everything. Every chance I get to slice up me some garlic, I'm telling you, friends, I'm slicing, I'm dicing, I'm going to... I'm putting garlic on everything. <laughs> 
But here's the one thing you don't want to do. You do not want, if you are sickly, to to think that you could cook it and get the same benefits. You don't want to cook it, friends. You want to eat it raw. And don't believe the hype. Minced garlic in those jars are not the same. You may get the taste, which most uh, minced garlic in those uh, jars. It does not even taste like garlic. I don't know what it is <laughs> because friends, it was not given to us to, to, to eat it that way. It is to be consumed in raw form. That's the best way to eat garlic, eat it raw. So you don't want to cook it. If you're trying to restore health and you want to use it for medicinal purposes, don't cook it. Eat it raw, and if you want to cook with it, no, no problem. Because I do that too. Some of my meals, I always prepare it with bigger cuts of the garlic, but I always top off the same meal with real fine cut up uh, garlic. So I get double it. I get it as the taste while cooking, and then of course for the medicinal purposes to keep my my blood and my body balanced, I use it that way. So here, let's look at the 13 things you could do. And I'm going to give you up front three things you could use because a lot of people talk about, I don't want to be smelling like garlic. Well, here's three things you could use to offset garlic breath, apple cider, or eating a fresh apple. So if you find yourself consuming a lot like I do, just slice you up a couple of apples and go on about your day. Lemon juice or fresh lemons are good to offset garlic breath. And this is scientifically proven, by the way, these three things to get rid of garlic bread. And then green tea. So if you like green tea, um, whether it's a warm tea or you could get green tea at your grocery store and, you know, put it in the refrigerator, take it with you. But we don't want to make no excuses not to learn to eat this wonderful medicinal thing God has given us. Number one, it boosts your immune system. It prevents colds. Um, a study showed that 63% of people who consume garlic daily, never caught colds. Number two, it reduces high blood pressure and it has been proven to offset um, the, the, the bad cholesterol that's in the body. That's number three. Number four, it improves brain function and it could deter one from uh, acquiring Alzheimer's, dementia, all types of memory issues. Number five, it helps prolong life and aging. Number six, it helps to detox the body from toxins. It's an anti-inflammatory and mucus. So if you have a lot of mucus and, and that type of thing, it will help you with that. It keeps our bones strong. So osteoporosis, which is very huge. Um, so many people are having, you know, where their bones are just being depleted. It helps with that. It helps to fight fungal infections such as yeast infections, candidas, ringworm, get garlic. Get it. Number 10, it combats allergies. If you're a person with a lot of allergies. Number 11, it, it will help treat a toothache. Remember also, this is the most powerful thing about garlic. It naturally combats uh, or it works as an antibiotic. Number 12, it helps with digestion. And number 13, it does fight infection, which is pretty much what usually toothaches are. And I want to give you the scripture, which is found in Numbers chapter 11, verse 5. The children of Israel was complaining when Moses brought them out of bondage. They were complaining in um, Numbers chapter 11 and 5 how they missed not only the garlic, but they complained they missed the melons, the leeks. This is a leek. I cook with, with leeks. It's like a, um, a real long onion. This one is cut. I cut the top part off, but this is sort of what a leek looks like. It's from the onion family. Family, And they also complain they miss the cucumbers. We eat a lot of cucumber salad at my house. My, my children, um, both of them love fresh cucumber salad. It's like a pastime and I give it to them as a snack. They love it, friends. You just slice it, put a, a little bit of um, onion, a little bit of garlic. Um, my eight-year-old loves 
fresh garlic. I don't give him too much because he'll be, you know, starting complaining. But because <laughs> he'll be like, that's too much. But give him just enough, a half a clove. You dice it up. You cut it up real thin, okay? And they could eat this with a, with a salad dressing. Not a lot, but enough salad dressing. My sons eat this stuff, friends. They love it. So the children of Israel was complaining that they missed this. And the Spirit of the Lord, when he helped me to move away from my poor eating habits, he made it clear, look, Sharon, do what they did. Eat what they missed. The leeks, the garlics, the onions, and the melons. Go to read that in Numbers chapter 11 and 5. So there you have it, friends. And some of the best meals to eat your garlic sliced real thin in real small pieces is fresh fresh salad, pasta. It is delicious, friends. Whenever I uh, make like a whole grain pasta dish, I I can put at least two to three cloves of garlic in it fresh because there's something about the pasta that kind of offsets the taste. It's just, ooh, so it loads me up. But yes, I might need a little lemon juice because it'd be so much garlic, but it's so good for us. Another meal that I love, uh, my fresh garlic uh, cut, over um, red skin potatoes, garlic powder, and parsley. It is delicious, friends. And collard greens, whenever I um, steam collard greens or kale greens, I top it off with fresh garlic. I cook the garlic also in them. It is delicious, friends. So lots of garlic, friends. Do not leave your grocery store this time without your garlic. Don't leave without it. Load it up. <laughs> so God bless you, my friends. And don't forget that I do have a free book download that I've written on my website. Go to motivatingyoutowin.com and you can download my free book. It's free. You can read it in 15 minutes and I guarantee you it'll give you a jump start and a little bit of inspiration if you're dealing with obesity and poor eating habits. If God works with Sister Sharon, he could work with anybody because if I had not done what the Spirit of the Lord told me, we would have never met on YouTube because I would have died. He told me I was dying. And that was almost 18 years ago. And so friends, I am an advocate of fresh food. I see the power, how it changed my entire life. I feel wonderful. And I, I believe friends, there is nothing that you cannot turn around if you are willing to do the work in your physical body. And remember this fact, from the earth we came, we must go back to the earth to maintain. We were created from dirt. So when we stay close to dirt food, we shall be just fine. And remember, garlic comes from the earth. They pull it up, the stalk of it, they pull it up and then they chop it off. It comes from the earth. God bless you, my friends. He or she that has that ear to hear. God bless you with discipline. Until next time, God bless.